in order to ensure that Cloud Backup for Azure can protect your Azure AD, your Azure storage and file shares, and also your Azure VMs, the first thing we need to do is to connect AffPoint Online Services to your Microsoft 365 subscription. If you're familiar with other AffPoint solutions, you know that we do that through apps. Apps are Microsoft's preferred mechanism for establishing that connection, for essentially allowing AOS and Cloud Backup to authenticate into your Microsoft 365 to perform whatever jobs need to be performed. If I go over into app management here on the left-hand side, we can see that we already have an app in place, and it is the Microsoft 365 All Permissions app. I would have created that by coming in here, clicking Create, and selecting Microsoft 365. Now again, if you've worked with other AffPoint solutions, you might think at this point, we're all set. That's the standard app that we use, that we install into the Microsoft 365 tenant that allows the communication and authentication I was describing. But if we go back to our Home tab and we click Cloud Backup for Azure, we will see that when it loads, it tells me no app profile is available. That's because Microsoft has been changing the way that they look at app permissions. The challenge with a standard enterprise app being used in this way is that it is granted at its creation global permissions. Permissions, for instance, not just to perform backup, but to perform administrative, records management, migration, potentially even types of jobs. Obviously, the security challenge there is when you have individual products doing individual things, they probably don't need all of those permissions. So if we know that Microsoft is thinking about that, we know that customers are thinking about that, what's the change? How is this evolving? Well, if I come back in here into App Management and I click Create, you'll notice we have some additional tabs up at the top, including Service. And when I go to my Service tab, I can now see Cloud Backup for Azure. In order to stay in step with evolving thoughts around security and access, we're moving away from a single standard app with all permissions into what we're calling service apps. Apps that will only have the specific permissions that are required for that particular service, in this case, Cloud Backup for Azure, to do what it's supposed to do. So with that selected, I'm going to click OK select the user who's going to allow that app to be installed and give it its permissions, essentially authorizing the app. This should be a global administrator. Take a moment to review the permissions, thinking about things like being able to read and write applications. Enterprise applications are one of the things that the Cloud Backup for Azure can backup and restore for you your groups, and of course, your users as well. And then I click Accept. Once we get back to AffPoint Online Services, we can now see we have the new Cloud Backup for Azure app in place. And now, if I go and launch Cloud Backup for Azure, I should not get that warning message. And you can see we are, in fact, in the tool. Now, at this point, you might think, great, I'm done. I'm ready to start setting up my scopes. But in fact, if I come back to AOS and I go back into app management, there's one additional app that you will want to install in Microsoft 365. And that is called a delegated app. A delegated app is again, an evolution of how Microsoft is thinking about security. And what it does is it works only within certain context. So rather than having certain set permissions that are always available, the permission it has is based on the context in which it is running. This provides, of course, an extra level of security. The delegated app is required in order to be able to back up and restore your virtual machines and your Azure storage. So what I've done to this point, installing the Cloud Backup app will work for Azure Active Directory. But once more, for virtual machines and Azure storage, I need the delegated app. So we come back here into AOS, into App Management. We click Create, and we have the Delegated tab. You'll notice 
Cloud Backup for Azure, and also Cloud Backup for M365. This is our standard backup for backing up your SharePoint Online, your OneDrives and Exchange, and so on. Delegated apps provide some specific functionality, in particular around the restoration of things like Teams channels. I'm gonna check Cloud Backup for Azure. We can see what's gonna be provided there, and we click OK. Once again, select the administrator account that is going to authorize this app's installation. View the permissions as a global admin you can consent and then accept once we get back to AffPoint online services cloud backup for azure and the microsoft delegated app so to be perfectly clear these are the two that are required for cloud backup for azure while this is the standard app that we've been using for a long time and still works with other products like our cloud backup for Microsoft 365, for instance. These are the ones that are required for Azure Backup. Now at this point, again, you would think I can jump right into the product. However, there is one additional security requirement. And you can view this very simply by going into the Cloud Backup for Azure user guide and over on the left, click Get Started. You can see under Get Started, we have two topics. Enable backup for your Azure virtual machines and Azure storage. Enable backup for Azure Active Directory. If I look at the Active Directory, there's really only two steps. The first one is what we just looked at. Configure the service app profile. And then you're ready to jump right into Cloud Backup for Azure and configure your backup scopes. But in order to configure the backup for Azure virtual machines and Azure storage, there's actually three steps. We've performed the first one, which is to create the app profile for Microsoft Delegate, install the Delegate app. But now the second step is you have to go into your Azure subscription and give the app contributor role that cannot be granted through AOS directly. The good news is, is that there's a simple little walkthrough for you to be able to do this here. Of course, the account you are using must have access to subscriptions in the Azure portal but you can go and log right in as an administrator into Azure portal, go into the access control under subscriptions, locate the delegated app, grant it contribute, and then you're all set. Once you have performed those steps, you're ready to come into Cloud Backup for Azure, set up your backup scopes for Active Directory, Azure Virtual Machines, and Azure Storage. Thanks for watching this short video on configuring the app profiles in AffPoint Online Services for Cloud Backup for Azure.